What's up, what's up guys? This is DJ Tanders. Welcome to my home studio. Today I do have a special guest. Jay Dizzo. Jay Dizzo in the house, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are going to do a special premiere of Tagalog, Tagalog University. University. Alright guys, as an additional guest, I have my son here, Joseph, who's so into um, converting or translating English to Tagalog and Tagalog to English and vice versa and whatever you wanted to do. This is how it's going to go. I would say the English word, Jay Dizo is going to be doing the Tagalog translation and this guy over here is going to be using it in a sentence in Tagalog. So. Here's the first word. In English, we call our underwear briefs. In Tagalog, brief. What? Brief. How do you use it in a sentence? Do it. Come on, buddy, do it. You can do it. Oi, brief mo. That's how you do it. Hui, you brief mo. That's how you do briefs. <laughs> Brief. Oh, me, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's do this again. Word number two. In English, we call the women's underwear panties. In Tagalog, panty. And how do you use it in a sentence? Panty mo. <laughs> there you have it, folks. There you have it. Panties, panty, panty mo. Yes, <laughs> panty mo or panty mo. Word number three. I don't even know the third word, buddy. <laughs> Give me some words. Itiko <laughs> alam. Wow, I love that. All right, here's the third word. In English, we call our butt. Yeah. Butt. Yeah. Yeah. In Tagalog, Puet. Puet. How do you use it in a sentence? Baho ang puet mo. Baho ang puet mo. What does that mean? Your butt stinks. Your butt stinks. Oh, I can I can smell it from here. You forgot to wash, buddy. You forgot to wash. Anyways, here's our fourth word. In English, we call this nails. In Tagalog, you say koko. But before you translate, I have a side joke. I have a side joke, right? And only Filipinos would know this. You know the basketball player, Atoy Ko? And the singer, Cool Ledesma, right? Yep. What would happen, just in case, what would happen if these two guys got married and what is going to be the new name of Miss Cool Ledesma? Coco. Coco! That's the name, Coco! Nails! So, how do you use Coco? In a sentence. Oi, your kuko is long. Oh, like yours. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are the, the Tagalog words that we wanted to do. And I think there's one more. There is one more word. What is that? I don't know. You tell me. Think. In English, we say something hard as hard. In Tagalog, it's what? Matigas. Matigas. How do you say it in Tagalog? As a sentence. Matigas ang ulo mo! Oh, like you! <laughs> and it's, it's not even funny, so in order for it to be funny, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so, I think that we're gonna be looking for more words we're going to be doing some B-roll right now. 
and we'll be back. Peace out. son went but I think he's actually upstairs doing his homework but anyways the show must go on so it's just the two of us okay sure buddy so the other word that I wanted to do is in English we usually say crazy right like this guy is crazy or you are crazy but in Tagalog you actually say it in a different way how do you say it Ulul. Ulul. So how do you say it, right? So if you wanted to say you're crazy, you're going to be saying ulul. This is how it goes. Listen carefully. Ulul mo. That's how you say it. When you're mad, ulul mo. That's how you say it. How about something really gross? In English, we say poop. In Tagalog, you say tai. Tai. How do you say it in in in, in, uh, in a sentence? Ang baho ng tai mo. Oh my goodness. Poop, tai, baho. You got it. All right. So this is not a word specifically, but this is how Filipinos or Tagalog people usually say when they wanted to save electricity. They usually say, in English, we usually say, turn off the lights, or turn on the lights. But in Tagalog, it's somewhat different. How do you say it? Close the lights. And? Open the light. Close the lights and open the lights. There's no door in the lights. How would you open or close it? Right? But you just do open the lights and close, close the, lights. the lights. Hi! Save power! Close the lights! Or, hi! It's so dark in here! Open the lights! There's no doorknob. You can't open it! You can't close it! You have to turn on or off. Yes. <laughs> Here's another term I remember, brother. Here, we actually say bathroom, right? Or restroom. But for Tagalog people, how do they say it? CR. What's CR? Comfort room. <laughs> So, what do you do in a comfort room? Do you do comfort stuff? You comfort yourself? What do you do there? You unload. Hoy! Sana siyar nyo dito! Hoy! Hoy! Pasiyar naman o! Ikihina! Hoy! It's funny, dude! It's funny! <laughs> Alright, fellas. Sometimes there are some words where you just kind of say it differently. I mean, you know what it means, but it just kind of sounds differently. Especially the, the, uh, the translation between F and P. So, as an example, when you talk about a floor, you say floor. But for Tagalog, you say floor. And how do you say that as a sentence? Boss, boss, anong floor ba yung gantong office? Floor. Instead of floor, it's floor. The other word is... Five. Five? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five, letter P. Five. What else? As a... As an addition to the uh, P and F transition, there's another example. Careful! 
Careful, hoy! Careful, you might fall. Is that right? Yep. Okay, you have to be careful because you might fall in your seat. You might fall. You might fall. By the way, shout out to my buddy, Paul. <laughs> Mayor Paul, this is for you. You might fall. <laughs> when you're calling someone here in the States, you say, hey, blah, 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 blah. In Tagalog, you say, hoy. And how do you use it in a sentence? Hoy, Mang Tomas, nandito ka na pala. Hoy, loko ka. Hoy. That's how you say it. But here in the States, you say, hey, buddy, I'm looking for this guy. Can you actually help me? In Tagalog, you say, Hoy! May inahanap kasi ako eh! Baka pwede mo tulungan! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. There's a certain thing where only Filipinos hear this sound. Obviously, people could hear this sound, but only Filipinos react to this sound, right? And this is how we would know if he or she is Filipino. And the word is, and this is how you actually use it in real life. Psst. Yes, yes. Bucket, bucket, bucket. See? That's how you do it. If you hear the psst, immediately you would actually see all the Filipinos go like this. Hey, hey, someone's calling me. Someone's calling me. That's how you do it. Otherwise, if someone says psst, you don't care. But if you're Filipino, someone says, Psst. Hey, 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 someone's, someone's calling me. Someone's calling me. I don't know who. I don't know who. Someone's calling me. That's how you do it. This is actually something I ripped off of Jokoi. Jo I'm a big fan of Jokoi. So Jokoi, if you're, if you're actually seeing this video, and I know you're one of my subscribers out there, this is for you. I ripped this off from you. Um, there's a word that I really like on one of your Tagalog Thursdays, and that is Sus Mariosep. And here in the States, we usually say OMG, you know, oh my God, whatever. But for Tagalog, it says Sus Mariosep. So, how do you use it in a sentence? Like, what is, how do you actually put that in, in a whole phrase? So, this is how it goes. If someone tells you a story, say, say something, something about stuff. Like something intriguing. He fell from the building. So smart Yosep! Nalaglag siya? Talaga? Oh my God! That's how you do it. You actually say it with a, a sense of enthusiasm and sense of like surprise. There's always like an element of surprise in those words. Um, Sus Mario Sep. This is like, OMG. This is how you do it. And I think we had a lot of, we had a lot of words today. This is just a premiere of what's to come. Every week I am gonna be uploading a video for Tagalog University. So I hope you guys like it. Thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, Click on the button down below, and as always, and as always, click the bell so you're gonna get notified for any new videos that I upload. Until then, Thunder Nation, I love you guys, and see you soon. Bye.